getting a ride on this bitch. <laughs>
and I've had kids tell me, I had a couple young young brothers tell me, is that where I cash my check, y'all can help me cash my check because I don't want my mama to take my money. Then I had one or two young brothers tell me, you know, they mama struggling, so they want to help them with the bills. And the sad thing is, like like you said, you have a lot of women that don't think about the things that they do, bring kids in this world, and then expect these kids to help them survive, make the sons, especially the husbands. Like when um what, what was it, a show or something? It was something I was I think it was something I was listening to. And um or me and you might have been talking about it. But that women women make their sons act like their husbands. You know what I'm saying? And they had a nerve to to put that responsibility on the boy. And then um, you know, if y'all haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's a video about Kevin Samuel's show the other night where this sister was saying she wanted to have kids whether or not she had a husband. There's a lot of young ladies saying that on YouTube now. They want to have kids regardless if they're a wife or not because they want to leave a legacy or they want somebody to love them unconditionally. It's like that is some selfish ass shit. But this is stuff women do. You don't hear men saying dumb shit like that, but we're so bad. Then the young lady try to say something about, oh, well, you got plenty of men that have babies and just leave. So she and, and Kevin was like, so are you basically trying to say that you're going to leave a seed in you and leave you as long as you have a child? That's You'll do that? No, that's not what I meant. I was just saying, you know, we talk about women, but men do this. And he was like, no, nah, bitch. You you try to say you you by any means necessary, bitch. You're not Malcolm X, bitch. What are you talking about? But yeah, I and I know that I know that for a fact. We both know as young brothers growing up in our household, we had to help our mothers pay bills. And it ain't a shit on them, but that's some shitty shit. It just gotta keep it real. Just because you didn't make the right decision as a parent, you don't put that on. Them. And I don't give a damn what the fuck the father did. If you out here having children out of where lot, that's your fault. That's your choice. Like we always talk about all these contraceptives that women have to stop pregnancy. It, I think a lot of women, y'all got like 30? Man, bitches might as well just stop fucking. If you gonna if you gonna do some disrespectful shit like that to your child, so it's not just men, it's women. And women are becoming shittier than men to actually set themselves up to be baby mothers. Instead of wise, or instead of saying, I'm not going to have no kids. You need to bring and the foul, children up in two parent homes, period. And and the foul thing about it, why? I, and I know you, we've talked about this before, but I brought it back up because I'm really failing to ever hear any kind of example where a man is going in and taking the money from a child. It's always the mother. It's always the mom taking the money from the child, and it just don't have to be a boy. When I hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there are instances. I'll tell you what, you know the instances, and they're extreme. That? If the daddy a crackhead. Nah, nah, that is true. I stand correct. If the father's a crackhead, he might go steal some money out of the piggy bank. You, you, saw, you, saw, you saw what Kevin Hart said his daddy did when the twenty dollars fell out of his birthday card. <laughs> there you go, but but so <laughs> but, I, but how know. often does that happen though? Let's keep right. it gangster. And and, and 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 to hear this mother say to the son, "Why you just can't wear the clothes that's too small for you?" That's evil to say to your young son that's trying to play football. Who knows to maybe earn a scholarship so that he can make it somewhere and help take care of your sorry raggedy ass. And you telling him, "I'm taking your money." Wear the clothes that's too small for you. That is evil and it's treacherous and it's disgusting. And in the first story, it stood out to me because this man said that his stepfather told him this to say, and I quote, all the women are like this, boy. 
So always keep money hidden. Don't never let a woman know where all your money at ever in life. And that's a shame that this dude, and this, this is his stepfather. So they're saying, oh, ain't no good men out there. I just told you a story where a woman is fucked up, but the man is being great. He didn't have to step up and take on these two kids, but he did. He stepped up, took on these two kids, helping them to earn some money, putting some money in their pocket, yet the mama's still stealing from them. Yet they say men are so bad. This man didn't have to take on these two kids. He didn't have to do that. He's taking on somebody and treating them very well, but he's also teaching them some game so that they can keep some money away from their selfish-ass mother. And that's just disgusting. And there's too many stories and instances of this. Well, when my apologies, uh, I went through a death spot. My apologies to everybody. I'm sorry about that. But well, as I was saying, the young man, the, the, the gentleman that was telling the story, this wasn't happening to him when he was in high school. He said that this was happening when he was like 12 and his younger brother was nine or 10. So this is a mother taking money from little kids. These little kids could maybe want to save up so they could buy whatever that was going on at that time. Some, 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 uh, a power rangers. I know I'm dating myself right now or whatever, a scooter, bicycle, whatever the case may be. And she taking their money while the stepfather is trying to teach them about saving, about hard work and dedication. You got to, he said the stepfather could have easily just handed them some money so they could go buy what they want. But he said, no, I want y'all to come work with me so I can teach you some responsibility so that I can show you, you work hard to get what you want. I can easily give you this hundred dollars, but I want you to come work for it. So he's trying to teach them lessons and being a father figure to them. And this sorry ass mother is doing the opposite, being an evil ass bitch for no reason. That's opposite from the norm. The <laughs> exactly. Be, opposite the opposite from the Damn, that's big. Yeah, but it's some real shit, man. You know, working with the youth and these young brothers telling me this stuff, it pissed me off and hurt my heart at the same time because you're teaching your sons that women will take from you. When you're trying to do the right thing, Women are going to be in a way, especially if it's your, if it's your mother doing it. Them supposed to be the ones that are teaching you different and and being there for you and making that sacrifice. But women, this is why women have to get married. This is why women and have they, to. Look, Jay, let me let me post something to you real quick while you saying that. Now they they said that it ain't no good. <laughs> they said that it ain't no good men out there and men ain't shit. But if you 16 years old. And you can't trust your mama and your mama doing you dirty. How the fuck you going to trust the bitch that you meet at high school? So maybe the mother is messing up these men before they become men. And that's why men are players and shit because of their mama. You ever thought about that to these women? These women ever thought about that? Maybe the woman is fucking up the, the, the young man's mentality before he even get out to be in his 20s. So that's something that these women need to think about. I seen MTR put up a post and the meme said something about in the long lines of they're saying the problem with young males is toxic masculinity. But if you look at the numbers of how many men are missing in missing in the house, really it boils down to the lack of masculinity. And I was like, yo, that's a dope ass post. That was a dope ass meme. Because if there's no men in the house, women are raising all our boys to be men, however they come out, and they're doing all this craziness. Like, you know, like what we talked about off air, about how many young brothers are in jail from single parent homes, single mother parent homes. It's like, what was it? Like 90% of the, of the brothers that's in jail uh, come from single parent homes? A crazy number. So, when you blaming the men, oh, they leaving and all that. So it's all these things that women keep doing to themselves. Just like I brought up uh, the show. Y'all can go check it out. Uh, I don't know if Kevin Simmons put it up yet, but y'all can look on our video. I was talking about how there's women out here saying they want to be baby mamas. 
So for those women to say that, they're going to still turn around and try to say, oh, ain't no good men out here. That's why I became a baby mama. No, you said you wanted to be a baby mama. You put that in your head. Even though you see a lot of young mothers going through hell, they got to get on government assistance. A lot of times when you have a child, does not mean it's going to work out the way you think it is. It's not going to be always easy. God forbid, you never know if your life could be on the line from having a child. You know what I'm saying? I know we see a lot of young women pushing babies out like crazy, but your life is on the line every time you have a child. So it's crazy for for a lot of women to want to go through their life by themselves. It's it's just it's just ridiculous. But you know, we had we had to bring up that point. I've talked about it on many shows, but it was time for us to actually do a, a topic on that. You know what I'm saying? We had to ride on this bitch for that one. HD, anything you want to say before we get out of here? I just felt like anything that can you hear me? Barely. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, as I was saying, any females who want to do all this finger pointing at men need to really think about all these mothers who are out here raising young men, even if they choose to do it by themselves that are doing these type of things to their sons and creating this image in their son's mind of what a woman can do and what a, how selfish a woman can be. And as I said earlier, if they can't trust in their mother, they can't believe their own mother, how are they going to believe in some chick they meet in college or that they meet after college? How are they going to believe in her when they can't even believe in their own mother? So stop saying it's always, oh, these men are acting this way because the men are leaving their mother. No, it doesn't have to be just because they're leaving the mother. A man could be in the house and and, and still the mother will be doing these type of things and it can turn a young boy's mindset totally the opposite way about women. So once again, as we say on Ops From The Norm, some of y'all women need to look yourself in the mirror and y'all mothers and y'all aunties need to look themselves in the mirror too when they want to say there ain't no good men out there. And that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of the conversation. All right, so we out of here, y'all. We'll be back with another one soon. Peace.